The story that I tell about Thermo Fisher Scientific is a very personal story. This is my family. They're beautiful. My 17-year-old son, Zach, 14-year-old twins, Alexis and Noah. They're healthy, happy, full of life. Life wasn't always like this, though. Life was a lot harder. 1996, we were ecstatic to learn that we were having twins. Alexis and Noah were born. Everything inside of me knew that there was um, something wrong. From the day that we brought Noah and Alexis home, they were, they were colicky. They were both throwing up multiple times a day. Somebody in the Beery household was up literally 24 hours a day. It was extremely stressful. And how could that happen? Or our previous uh, example with Zach was, he was just perfect. I would say between the two of them, over 80 tests within the first four years of their lives. It just felt like a never ending roller coaster and no answers. I just felt terrible. Like I didn't feel myself whatsoever. Her eyes would roll back in her head and her hands would crawl up to her chest. Well, for me, the main thing is uh, throwing up all the time, and I would throw up 24-7. As the big brother, it's like, I wish I could take it on instead of them. You don't want to see them go through that kind of thing. At two years old, Noah and Alexis were both diagnosed with cerebral palsy. So we had them in therapies. They seemed to be getting better. We reached age five and a half, and Alexis had, had definitely been regressing. The biggest thing that I remember is not being able to reach people. It's all of the normal activities that any family would ever be able to do, we couldn't. For years I would ask, why is it when she wakes up in the morning she can walk and she can talk? But by 10.30 or 11 o'clock in the morning, she could not even sit up. Loretta was just the mama lion. I mean, every day she was out there doing all the things that she needed to do. I came across an article that was titled, Deft Diagnosis, Sagawa's Dystonia Mimics Cerebral Palsy. She's the true heroine. What she found changed our lives. One of the common threads that separates this disorder from cerebral palsy is how the patients function at a higher level in the morning and as the day goes on they become more debilitated and that was Alexis. So in 2001 the doctors began to treat the twins with L-DOPA. From the time in which Alexis took her first dose she was literally transformed. She was walking with her hands down. She was doing things we didn't even know she could do. She was whistling. She buckled her own seatbelt. We became a normal family. In 2008, I took a job at Thermo Fisher Scientific, and that was a significant event in the Beery family. The late 2009 is when this cough that Alexis had been dealing with for about six years had turned into a severe breathing problem. We almost lost her several times. And so we are back into this world of doctors and testing, and no one can come up with an answer. We had the opportunity to have their uh, genome sequenced. I couldn't help but believe that we were going to find something. We went to the Texas Children's Hospital and the Baylor College of Medicine and spent the day with the teams there. They drew blood and that was the only thing they did. We saw the solid systems in place and we saw them actually sequencing the samples. They identified the gene that caused the twins problems. The gene SPR was associated with production of both neurotransmitters, dopamine and serotonin. We knew about the dopamine deficiency, but the information about serotonin was new. This research has allowed doctors to better understand the twins' disorder and the breathing attacks which Alexis experienced. The biggest thing is we now have um, substantiating evidence I feel very good and I'm just like really a happy child now. Yeah, I feel like I can function more, like uh, I can understand stuff better. This is about the millions of other families looking for answers. That's our hope, 
that kids with rare disease will have this opportunity so that they can be treated and that they can have new lives and new hope. Our heart and our passion has always been in this journey to reach out to other people. This is a living example of what we do at Thermo Fisher Scientific. How this research allows doctors to better understand diseases and it's personal to me. Frankly, I wouldn't have two kids here today if it wasn't for what Thermo Fisher Scientific does.